I scuffed up the bottom of the uh, plate for the pan and tilt assembly and also the foam where I had painted it before I figured out exactly what I wanted to do. Now I just have to glue those together. Then I'll put the camera assembly back on. I've labeled all the connectors everywhere, all through the airplane, pan, tilt, etc. So I epoxied that on. I'm going to let it sit and cure and then I'll mask off the servo so I don't get paint in the servo and I will touch up the black paint so it looks good. But there's that pretty much done. Uh, don't want to get any epoxy in the servo itself but We'll let that sit. While I had the epoxy out, I just ran a line of epoxy with my finger over the servo wire like I had it before. Uh, believe me, when I tried to get that servo wire out of there, I had quite a time getting it out. And then I just rubbed lightly on each side with a paper towel soaked in isopropyl alcohol to clean up the excess. So I believe that's it. I'm going to have to let all that dry, cure as the case may be. But that's uh, pretty much going to do it. Now, as far as installing the microphone in here, this is the pigtail for the video transmitter ground voltage video and I do have the audio in there and this little blue wire here goes out to the audio and that of course plugs in down there to the oops if I can get some light and stuff in there to the flight controller I'm gonna pick up ground and five volts oops right over here on the left if we can get that to focus right here ground and five volts right here on the left side of that flight controller and the signal will just come up like i say to that uh right here hook in right here and that'll go out that'll give me ground voltage and the signal on this one and that'll go out to the video transmitter on the wing now it's cold and really yucky out today so there won't be any flying uh, depending on how long this takes me to get done I'm gonna go ahead and do it now rather than wait till after the maiden because all I have to do is this connector is going to plug in there where the buzzer would be. I'll show you on the screen here in a second. And I'll have my ground, my voltage, and then I'll connect this to that blue wire and just put another pigtail right next to this pigtail. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best way to do that. So that will be how this little bitty circuit board with the microphone on it is connected to the video transmitter for sound. So again, right here, I'm, I have three pins here because I thought I might want a buzzer. I think the plane is, the Skyhunter is so big with its six foot, approximately six foot wingspan that... <laughs> I think I can find it without a buzzer. Uh, I'll be able to see it long before I would hear the buzzer, I think. So I'm going to put that connector right across these three pins. No, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to put the this right across these three pins, but I'm going to cut this wire out. So I'm just picking up ground and voltage here. 
And I'm going to pick up 5 volts here because that board says it wants 5 volts. It doesn't say it can run on 5, 12, 24, or whatever. And if I get up here for voltage, it's going to be at least 9 volts if you have this bridged. And it can actually be up to 12 volts if you also bridge this pad up here, which I have. So this pin technically has 12 volts on it. I don't know that that would harm that little circuit board, but the documentation for it says 5 volts. That's why I'm going to pick up ground and 5 volts right here, and then that little blue wire on that pigtail that goes right here on the video transmitter. It even has the fourth pin over here, which I'm not going to use. That's cut also on that pigtail. Uh, I'll just hook the audio out of that little microphone board to that pigtail going up to the uh, video transmitter. And that way I'll get sound back down to the ground. And there's the paint touch up on the uh, canopy. It's not quite dry yet, but you guys know how flat black paint on foam doesn't want to stay, so as it's handled, a lot of it will come off. This is the little microphone over at the sorter station. I did cut that third wire out of this connector. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a buzzer, so I'll kick. This will be ground and voltage connected to this little bitty board right here and then the audio out will be connected to this blue wire so it goes up to the video transmitter this white wire is the smart audio that was hooked up on the board for the flight controller which isn't used this 1.2 video transmitter doesn't have smart audio just straight audio so these two and that little board uh, that's sort of keep busy work uh, if I happen to for some crazy reason it got warm and uh, non rainy slash gloomy today and I flew this afternoon I wouldn't do this this is just going to be little extra work while I wait for a good weather to maiden I had to take it upstairs so I could have a place big enough to put the big red bow on it and uh, take a video of it. <laughs> but there it is. The Sky Hunter, big red bow, ready to maiden. I do have a few little things to do. I need to make up an airspeed sensor cover. I need to check the CG on the wing, make sure I've got all that set up to be able to easily do in the field. I just took Pam to the airport. She's flying home to Nebraska for a week to see her mother for Christmas. So I won't have her to help me fly, but I have another friend and my brother ready and willing to help me as soon as the weather around here cooperates. I'd like to thank everybody who helped me with this and my other projects. You have been great. Thank you so much.